Hey guys, welcome back again. So in this video, let's see that how do we integrate AdMobs inside our Android application, which allows us to monetize our application by displaying ads inside our application. So here we can see the demo application which I have created and here we can see that Google AdMobs is running and here we can see a test ad that is running inside our application. And if you don't know that what AdMob is, so basically it allows you to monetize your application by displaying ads inside your application. And now to integrate Google AdMobs inside your Android application, there is the mobile SDK for Android as well as AdMobs is not only related to Android, but it, but it has SDKs for iOS and Unity as well. So now there are certain prerequisites as we can see here, that is the minimum SDK version should be 16 and the compile SDK version should be 28 and above. So now to create a Google AdMob account, you can click on this link here or you can go to the AdMob's website here and you can click this link to sign up. Since I have already signed up, so I am inside my console here, which is my Google AdMob console. And here I am seeing one application that is the demo application I've created, but you might not see this page. Instead, you should only see this button here that is add app. So now to integrate AdMob's inside our application, firstly, what we need to do, we need to create a new app inside our AdMob's account. And later in the video, we'll be seeing that how do we integrate that application which we have created inside our AdMob account to our Android application. So now what I'll do, I'll click on this thing here that is add app to create a new application. So let me click here that is add app. And now it asks that whether I have published my application to Google Play or App Store. And in this case, I am clicking on no since I have not submitted my application like this. And now we need to enter something here that is the app name. And here you can name your app and it doesn't mean that this name should be the same as the Android application's name. Though we have created an Android application here, as we can see here with an empty activity. So the app name is not related to this package name here that is AdMob example. So you can have any app name here. So let me provide him here a app name. So let me call it a YouTube tutorial. Like this. And now we need to select the platforms on which we want to integrate this ad mob. So currently I only want to integrate it inside our Android platform. So I am selecting this Android here. And now it asks us to enable user metrics for this app. So it is by default checked. So let it be checked. And now let's click on add. And now it will take some time. So now we see that our app has been created and it has been added to ad mob. And now we need this thing here that is the app ID. So we can copy it here or we'll copy it this later on. So now what we need to do to display ads inside our banner that is inside our application, we need to create an ad unit because this thing here that is this banner here is one ad unit. And if you want more banners like this, that is one for each activity, then you have to create separate ad units for each of the banners. Now suppose this is our activity and we want to show two ads here. That is one ad here and one ad here at the bottom. Then we want to cre create two ad units. But here we will create only one ad unit to display a single ad inside our activity. So now let me create an ad unit here. So let's click this thing here that is create ad unit. And now it asks that what type of ad we would like to have. So it depends on your application that which kind of ad you want. But in general, you would like to have the banner ad. That is the this kind of ad here that that displays as a banner inside your application. So now we'll select this thing here. That is we want to select the banner ad. And now we need to provide an ad unit name. So let me provide an ad unit name like uh, first ad. And now let's uh, see what are the advanced settings here. So here we see that the ad type would be the text, image and rich media and video. And if, if you don't want to show the video inside your ad, then you can uncheck this box. But here I want that any of the type, any type of ad should show inside our banner here. And now here it asks us for the refresh rate of the ad. So let it be Google optimized. And for this eCPM floor, let it be unchecked. So now let's click on this thing here that is create ad unit. So let me create an ad unit here. And now we see that the ad unit is created successfully. And now we see that we are presented with this thing here. That is the app ID and the ad unit ID. So this thing here is the app ID and this thing here is the ad unit ID. And you should not share these details with anyone and you should not even use these things that are these IDs inside your test application. You should only use these IDs when you publish your application because it is against the policies of AdMob to use these IDs inside your test application. So now let's integrate AdMob's inside our Android application. So here we see that the min SDK version was 16 and the compile SDK version was 28. 
So let's go to our Android application with an empty activity which I've created and we see here that our min SDK version is 16 and the targeted SDK version is uh, 29 and the compiled SDK version is 29 which is which is greater than 28 or later. And now what we need to do? We need to implement this dependency that is the play services ads. So let me copy this dependency from here. And now let me go to inside our Android application and inside the build.gradle file. Let me go to the dependencies tab and here I'll paste that uh, dependency here. That is the play services ads dependency. And now let me click on sync now. So let me click here. And now while it's syncing, let's go to the SDK page. And here it asks us to update the Android manifest file that is with this metadata here with the name of this thing here and then the value that is our application ID. So let me copy this thing all from here. So let's copy this and let's go to this Android studio and let's open our manifest file here. And now inside this application tag here or inside this application block, we need to paste that metadata here and here in this uh, value thing here that is android colon value you need to provide in your app id and this app id is this app id which we have created inside our admob account here that is this app id but since we are using the test app or we are using a demo inside our emulator so we won't be using this actual app id but instead we'll be using the id provided by google to test our android application so here we can use this sample admob app id that is this app id that that is provided by google and in a real application you should be using this app id that is your google admob app id but here i am using the sample app id so let's copy this thing from here and let's paste it here like this and now this manifest part is complete so now let's again go back to the sdk page and now we need to initialize the mobile ads sdk so this should be done inside your activity that is inside your main activity and we can initialize it like this. So let's go to our application and here inside the main activity, we can initialize the mobile SDK. So mobile ads dot initialize and here we need to pass in the context. So let me pass in the context like this. And here this also takes in a second parameter as we can see here that here inside the example main activity that is by the SDK page here they have passed in a second argument here that is new on initialization complete listener and you have to implement this listener only when you need consent from European economic area as displayed here that is a, it is a warning here that is ads may be preloaded by mobile SDK or mediation partners SDK upon COBA calling mobile ads if you need to obtain consent from users in the European economic area then we need to request specific flags but in our case we won't be passing in the second argument here but instead we'll be initializing our mobile ads sdk like this that is mobile ads dot initialize this and now let's go back here that is the sdk page and now what we'd want to do since we want to implement a banner because the ad unit which we created was a banner ad so let's see that how to implement the banner ad so let's uh, click this thing link here and now we need to include a ad view inside our main activity.xml file. So now let me copy this piece of code from here because we'll be directly copying this uh, uh, view from here that is the ad view from here and we will be directly pasting it inside our xml file that is the activity main.xml and then we'll be adjusting the constraint. So now let's open the layout file here that is the activity main.xml file here and let's go to the xml file here and now instead of this text view let me remove this text view from here and in, let me paste that add view from here so now let me apply some constraints to it so let me delete this thing from here and now we'll apply the constraint so let's go to the design layout and now i'll select my ad and i'm centering it horizontally in the parent like this and then i am making a bottom constraint to the bottom of my view that is bottom of my parent view that is a constraint layout and now uh, this ad is okay so let me collapse the ending tag here like this and now we see that this add view has an id of add view and moreover since i already copied this add view from here you can also use this add view from this thing here that is from this google thing here we can drag in a add view like this also so now this add view has an ID of add view as we already saw here that is this add view here. So let's go to our main activity and here let's find if, let's find that add view. So add view, add view like this 
and then we can find the add view like this equal to find view by id i dot id dot add view like this and now before moving ahead i'll tell you one more thing that is the size of the ads as here we can see that this uh, ad view has an ad size of banner so what are all different variations that you can enter here that is instead of this banner thing here so let's go to this page again here and here uh, if we scroll down we will be seeing the ad size and here we see that we have this ad size constant here so if we are displaying it as a banner so then the size and dp would be 320 by 50 and if we display it as a large banner then the size is this and if we display it as a leaderboard then the size is this so on and so forth so if we convert this banner to full banner so let me copy this full banner from here and let me paste the ad size here as full banner so let's see what we have here so we see that we are getting this kind of ad and if we provide in a large banner so let me copy the large banner from here and instead of the full banner we can provide in the large banner here and we see that the size has been changed accordingly and now this ad view takes in a ad unit id and here we see that we already have a ad unit id here and this is a sample ad unit id as we can see here when we copied that ad from here so this ad unit is a sample ad unit id and in an actual application instead of this app id which is a sample test ad id you need to provide in your actual ad id that is the actual ad unit id that is this ad unit id this is the app id and this is the ad unit id so inside the ad view we need to provide in this ad unit id but since i cannot use this inside my demo application so i am using the sample id but in your production application you should be using the ad unit id inside your ad view so here we have the sample test id here and now to display ads inside this ad view what we need to do we need to make a ad request here so ad request ad request equal to new ad request dot builder dot build and now we simply call that ad view and we simply add that request by using this load add method here load add and here we pass in the ad request that we have just created above so add request like this and that's all you need to display ads inside your application so let me run this application and let's open our emulator here and here we see that we are getting this ad here with a large banner i suppose so let me change the size of this banner to show you a different kind of ad so let's go again here and let's go to the activity main.xml file here and here instead of large banner let me simply provide in the banner thing here and now let's again run this application and let's again go to our emulator here and this time we'll be seeing a small banner instead of this large banner so now that this time we are seeing a small banner here and not a large banner so guys this is how easy it is to integrate ad mobs inside your android application and you can start monetizing your android application by displaying ads using ad mobs so guys that's all about this video so if you have liked the video do hit the like button if you haven't subscribed to the channel do subscribe to the channel and if you want you can support me on patreon.com i'll provide the link in the description below so thank you bye bye tata take care and have a good day and stay safe